Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Process Explorer. I apologize in advance. I'm coming off a cold, so I either have the coolest radio voice in the world or I sound like I have a cold. One of the two. Now, I would say to you right now, this is definitely a little bit more for advanced users. What you see here on my screen, what you're going to see on yours, is probably a lot more items showing up. But this allows you, as you can see, there's probably 20 different entries here. You can look at your codecs, your login, Explorer, Internet Explorer, known hijacks, network providers, sidebar gadgets. You shouldn't have any of those. So we'll just kind of browse through and show you a little bit on how the thing works. Once you get beyond how many different sections there are here, you have to understand that this program, while it's called Auto Runs, it's really showing you stuff that you probably had no clue was running on startup. I like old school services, of course, so we'll start there. As you can see, this is all the services that run with Windows, so this is a neat way to start. Uh, your Google update services, etc. So what you can do now is line your mouse over and you get a description. Always love balloon tips. That's what those are called. But you can right click on anything and this is where you get the opportunity to delete, copy, look it up on virus total if you don't know what it is. Great for malware. Start Process Explorer. That's another third party tool from Sys Internals. So if you don't have it installed, it won't. It'll give you an error message. And search online, which I like because if you're playing around in here and you you see something, obviously this is a no-brainer. But let's look up G Update, and as you can see, it tells you that it is a component of the Google Updater. This at least gives you the information that you need. Different stuff can be a little confusing, but not image hijacks a good example. Kind of a tricky one because obviously Internet Explorer is not really an image hijacker. So again, kind of need to know a little bit about what you're doing. See if we can find another tab here. There's only so much showing up here in my system. But again, a lot of the stuff like the WinSock providers, this is neat if you had some sort of malware. And again, as you can see, these don't have as much information in the drivers. But ELI Express... We'll just jump online. It's nice. It pops up in the background. It's quick. It's easy. As you can see, your first link, for example, on that one is the download for the Gigabit Ethernet controller from Intel. Now we know exactly what that is. So let's see what else we can look at here before we send you on your way. Your print monitors and login. Usually not much in there you want to mess around with, but you never know. And, of course, the ultimate bad boy. Show me everything. And now you got all the different things to look at. So you have, what do we got here? Gather network info. So let's search online. See what that is. Does anybody know what gather info VBS is? So there you go. Whether you can trust it or not, look it up. Nice, right? Delete. You can also come in here and check where you can. There we go. Forgot about that. First thing in the video should have been run it as administrator. And there we are back at everything. So this gives us the opportunity to check. Now it works. And you can close it or uncheck an item to run it this way. If you wanted to delete it, you could. But you're always better off first and foremost checking the box, making sure everything's okay. Or unchecking the box, making sure everything's okay. And then come back later. So there is help here. I believe it goes to, yep, they got help in their website. That's what I thought. So there is help in there, but again, I really prefer to see more advanced users using this. But really, if you <laughs> if you can't find something you know is running on startup, Auto Runs is going to find it. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. We know there's a million YouTube channels out there with billions of page views. We really appreciate you stopping by, checking out our videos. Click subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.